and we're facing an existential crisis. Unless we act together now to address climate change, future generations will be severely threatened by rising sea levels, by warming waters, by intense and more frequent storms. Communities will be displaced. Uh, people's lives will be in jeopardy. In 2017, we were testigos of a hurricane magnitude 4 or 5 impacted significantly la isla desde el punto de vista energético la red eléctrica se cayó completa eh, muchas comunidades estuvieron más de un año sin eh, electricidad tuvimos muchísimas muertes miles de muertes en puerto rico en primer término para poder atender la crisis energética hay que cumplir con la ley 17 del 2019 que es la ley de política pública energética de puerto rico para el 2025 Eh, los suplidores de energía deben estar en el 40% y para el 2050 deberíamos estar en 100%. En el 2018, de la mano de la Fundación Colibri, la, el Environmental Defense Fund vino a Puerto Rico precisamente para buscar alternativas para atender la crisis energética como consecuencia de lo que vivimos en el huracán María. Decidimos trabajar con la isla de Culebra porque Culebra, a pesar de que es una isla pequeña, es la que primero recibe el impacto de un, de un sistema como es un huracán y por la dificultad de llegar a la misma, a veces se tarda muchísimo en poder restaurar el sistema eléctrico. People in Caribbean islands are on the front line of climate change. They are among the most vulnerable people in the world to the impacts of rising seas more frequent and more intense storms of warming waters. And they've been on the front line for some time. By working with a community like Culebra, we can develop and help them develop models that can be used throughout the Caribbean. And likewise, people in Culebra are looking elsewhere. There are other communities in Puerto Rico are also developing projects like this. So you're beginning to see a network of communities, of low and middle income communities in Puerto Rico, in the Caribbean, they're talking to each other. They're saying that we're in this together. How can we share knowledge? How can we share success stories, lessons learned, so that we can all lift each other up?